Good morning! So I woke up two hours ago, but I had a really bad headache, so I got up and I took medicine and I'm all better now. What a beautiful day. The flower tree is so pretty. I don't know if it's a crab apple tree or what, but that's a lilac bush. Today, after I get ready, I want to go to the woods and look for morel mushrooms because the best time to find morel mushrooms is like the last week of April when there's only a couple days left of the month into like May. So right now is a good time. And I just found some next to my car. Um, barely, you can barely see it right there. But for now, I look a mess and I need to get ready. Um... I was kind of thinking something cute because I feel like being a cute little forest dweller today because I'm going to the woods, you know? But these are like interview shirts. I don't know. Ooh, this is cute. I don't know if it's going to be like nice enough for it though. Ooh, and there's a long sleeve. Yeah. I want to wear this. Maybe. I'll try it on. Give me like 15, 20 minutes. Bye. Oh, that's embarrassing. I hate doing my hair. so bad like to the people who can actually see the top of my head it's so embarrassing like at that point i'm i don't even want to i don't want my hair up anymore <laughs> What are those? Found. Yeah. Well, I don't know. I need an actual mirror. It's kind of cold and I'm thinking about wearing a sweatshirt. So at that point, it's like, what's the point of wearing this? I'll just save it for summer. All right. I am finally leaving. Here they are. They're so cute. There's another one here. There's another one right there. So there's one, two, three, four, five. So there's five mushrooms. I don't want to pick them because it said they can get as big as your hand, which I don't know. It said they can live for up to two weeks before like dying. Uh, if I see them start to die, I'll pick them, but I'm gonna keep a close eye on them. <sighs> okay, oh my banana peel. <laughs> I forgot I ate a banana earlier and I was walking out here <laughs> and I didn't want to hold my banana peel anymore. So I just put it on my car. Now it's in my car. The first place I'm gonna try, it's right down the road. Um, it's like one of those nature trails. It might be a little wet though. I gotta Google what an elm tree looks like because in a video I watched, it said will grow around like dead elm trees, but not so much around living ones. I don't know, but if I could find a dead elm tree, that's where I will look underneath for morel mushrooms. So I'm gonna Google that. Here's a picture. It, I looked up what trees do morels grow under. It said they grow under apple trees. This is an apple tree. I should go look over the other apple trees. Those are apple trees. That's an apple tree, I think, a different type. That's an apple tree, I think. I should, I should go look real quick. Here, my car. Beautiful. Okay, I already looked under that one. There's nothing there. This is an apple tree. I looked under that one. There's nothing there. A rhubarb plant. I don't really know what to do with rhubarb, but it's pretty cool. All of this blue, like, insulation stuff all over the ground is reminding me. Jaden found a robin's egg the other day. Put it on his trailer a couple days ago. I wonder if it's still there. It is, and it's not blue anymore. Ew. I just 
saw a goose attacking another goose. Well, I don't know if this is an apple tree, but there's some pretty flowers on the tree and below it. Those are very pretty flowers. That's a hawk. Weird. Well, these are a lot of pine trees. Uh oh, someone's calling me. Hi, Mom. Well, this is a dead tree. I don't know what type of tree it is, but it said they grow around dead trees. And there's more of those pretty flowers. Um, but I'm not seeing anything. It's like swampy. I don't know. Maybe they don't like swampiness. And this is like a well walked trail, so maybe other people have picked them if they've been. I don't know. Off trail. Even if I just found one mushroom, it'd be really cool. Even if it wasn't a morel mushroom at this point. Where's the trail? The trail's right there. It goes that way. Okay. A mushroom. Whoa. What's a mushroom? Oh, this, this is a good stick. Oh, yeah. Oh, maybe if I just jump. <laughs> Got it. That one's okay. I want to use it for my fairy hut. It'll dry out more. Whoa. Yeah. Um. I'm gonna get this one. Yeah. Oh. For sure. There's a hair on my wrist, I thought it was a spider. That one's cute. That one works for a fairy hut. In the bag you go. I brought a, I brought a cam and I brought a Polaroid camera. I bought a note brought a notepad in case I find something I want to press, like a flower. I don't know. Well, there's a lot of birch wood. Oh, this is really cool. I like birch wood. That tree. It's all muddy. We're taking a picture of this tree. What? You did not. My mom calling again, hold on.
Well, my mom and I talked for like 10 minutes, but there's this little red bug. I call them blood bugs because when you smush them, they look like blood. I don't smush them anymore, but I did when I was younger. Uh, I, yeah, I don't want to touch that thing. It looks like a tick. It's cute though. Oh, and there's a slug on the back of it. There's some bones. Do bumblebees live underground? I get excited when I see things that I see in pictures. Like, I saw that purple flower, like those type of purple flowers. There's another one right there in a picture that I saw of a morel. And I'm like, well, maybe, maybe there's a morel over here. And then I just looked up, can morels grow in, like, moist ground? They said, your morel growing area should be as moist as a wrung out sponge. So, there's a lot of bumblebees. Like a lot. Ah. Oh, stop it. Oh, I hate it. Ooh. Stop. <laughs> stop. Stop, 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 stop. Please go away. My whole body has chills. I don't like this. I don't like this. I'm gonna fall. No, I don't. Ow. What is this? A giant rose bush? Ow. Feet wet. Alright. I kinda wanna go back. This is all water. That looks like a massive ant nest, doesn't it? I wonder what that actually is. What if it's like some big animal and it's gonna come attack me? <gasps> what if those are bumblebee nests? And that's why they've been flying at me. It's 11-11 and I get to make a wish. So my wish is to be able to find the pathway that I started out on because I am kind of lost. Oh my goodness. At one point I read mushrooms grow under these, so. Okay, so those tall plants are called may apples. And Google says many successful hunters have found that, what? Have found them underneath of these plants. So that's where we're going. It's just, I just don't want to get wet. All right. Whoa. We're here. Looking around. I'll record if I find one. This would be a perfect spot because it says near dying trees with that type of like uh, bacteria will grow the mushrooms. But I found this black. I really wish I could figure out what it is. It's kind of like jiggly. I don't know, some type of fungus? I saw a snail or a slug on one earlier. I've never seen that before. I saw that branch right there, right there. I thought that was a mushroom. Ooh. I didn't see anything, but I also Googled more. It said they're a good indicator of when the mushrooms are sprouting because when they start to flatten out, that means they're it's a season i don't know but this tree is really fascinating because it's moving it's a huge tree it's just like positioned just right i would totally come back here with boots this is so cool hit the ground. It's neat. I'm not sure what type of tree this is. Some type of maple maybe. Um, 
yeah i don't know but it smells really good like this piece it smells sweet like sweet this is a lot of little pokes holy goodness i wonder if this tree got struck by lightning or something because that looks like burn hmm because it, yeah it looked like a healthy tree i don't know I don't know. Okay, so I was just digging in this red tree because it looks like it could be like mulch for around a flower garden and uh, my fairy hut thing I'm making. And I found, let's put this down, this inside of the tree. It's some type of seed with a root. Yeah. So I'm gonna take it home and plant it and it's gonna grow, it's gonna be great. Normally in the summertime, I would bring like little plastic baggies to put things like that in. But I don't have any plastic baggies because I was just looking for morale mushrooms. Um, so my seat's just going to sit there and if it gets lost, I'll just have to dump it this out. This is so cool looking. It's like a little natural formed chair. If it was dry, could... these were different. These are cool. Hold on. I am looking at these. Whoa. Those are neat. Are these pitcher plants? These are little pitcher plants. What? Oh, I didn't ever, I didn't know those could like grow in Michigan. I have never seen these before. I've seen them like on phones, but never IRL. What? That's sweet. These are awesome, and I pulled one like up, but I didn't know the whole root system was going to come up. It's so cool. I could plant it in dirt and just keep it wet. I'm going to try. I think I found another seed thing. But I wonder what it is. I'm growing it. Cinematic photo. No. Hey. It's not cool. Oh no! I lost the seed. Look at this snail. It's empty. Put you back where you were. I don't know if the ecosystem uses you. This is the most blood bugs I've seen in one area. That's cool. Very neat twisty tree. I like it. I like it. I don't really know what I'm doing. I wonder what kind of mushrooms these are. Don't move, don't move, don't move. Look at it. He's so cute. Uh oh. Oh, look. <gasps> look how cute. Okay, you got this. You're so cute. I know there's like different species or different types of bows. One time I found a big blue one with like white speckles. I don't know what they're called. It is 1221. I need to get gas. My car's a mess. Um. <laughs> I'm taking Jaden's mom to Freeland to pick up her car. She just got her windows tinted today. And my car is a mess. I'm taking her in my car. So I should probably get gas, first of all. No, I'm gonna, okay, so I'm gonna head home, drop off my plants and stuff, head to town, get gas, and I'm gonna stop at Mr. Car Wash so I can vacuum my car because it looks like trash and I don't want to be embarrassed. Okay, so that's plan and a half. I didn't find any morel mushrooms, but I found a bunch of other cool stuff. I had fun still. 
I totally just pulled a U-turn because I passed the house. I don't usually come from that direction and I wasn't looking at that side of the road. So yeah, I pulled a U-turn. I'm almost home. Okay, so everything's on the floorboard right now, but I got her side looking decent. Uh, like decent, not perfect, but it's less awful than it was. So now I got to go to, um, I'm not sure where I want to go. I didn't bring my brush. I thought for sure I did. That sucks. Um, I want to go get dirt somewhere, but like good dirt, not like Dollar Tree dirt. Okay, so I stopped at the Tridge to see if the milkweeds were growing yet because I want to raise monarch caterpillars this year. Um, and then I saw Heather and Holly and I remembered my mom wanted a bunch of those fruity, fruity tooty things. They're like, uh, they're like, what are they called? Um, the rolls, um, uh, shoot, what are they called? Chocolate rolls. Chocolate, um, chewy. Break! Oops. I'll remember as soon as I sit down and watch. Um. I'm gonna, if I don't figure it out, I'm gonna Google it. What are those chocolate chewy rolls? Fruities. Fruities. Okay, but like, what are the chocolate ones called? It's chocolate. Frick. There are, they come in the big ones and the small ones. They can have like a white underneath. Or like a chocolate log. A chocolate log. <sighs> chocolate log. I gotta remember it. Like, you know what it, I'm talking about now, but like, I can't remember what it's called. Hey, do you want my, I don't like them. My rolls, my chocolate rolls, chocolate logs. I got, um, I think it's like birthday cake kind of ice cream with blue moon. It's so good. I want to say fruit roll-ups, but that's not what they're called. Um, two, tutti fruities. Um, I had it and it just disappeared. Um, They're brown. They're in a little brown wrapper. I'm looking it up. A Tootsie Roll. I called Marcy and I finished my ice cream. A Tootsie Roll. Yeah, no, I called Marcy and she knew what I was trying to say within like three seconds. I was like, what is that chocolate thing? I don't like it. It's like a roll. No, I didn't say roll. No, I said it's like a log. And she's like, a Tootsie Roll? Yeah. Yeah. A Tootsie Roll. So, that's what I was trying to say. I don't know when, but Tootsie Roll. Like, I was trying to say fruit roll up. I was tutti fruity. stop dollar general i got soil grass seed and dinner hot pockets the anxiety i get is like is it acceptable as a 20 year old and a 22 year old to have hot pockets for dinner like he works all day all week 
sometimes when I don't have like a good dinner made, I usually do make a really good dinner. Um, I feel like when I don't have a good dinner made with like meat or something good, I just feel bad. It's like, <sighs> I don't know. Right? I don't know. Is it a valid thing to have anxiety over? Like, is it wrong of me to buy Hot Pockets and expect that to be dinner? Alrighty, so I planted three pitcher plants, no, four pitcher plants, this one's one, and two little fern plants. These are connected. And apparently there's a little spider living right there. See it floating in the air? He's live and he's gonna live there. Maybe the pitcher plant eats them, I don't know. Oh, there's two. Shoot. Uh-oh. Where's he at? Climb back up, dude. Is he making a web? Now I move. Ow, my toe. I don't really know how I feel about the spider living there. I just put it down there. Ew, why is he all the way down here? I'm like... cute-ish, I guess. I don't know. Um, I have all my jars. That'll be cute when I get things in those. This one I have a little chrysalis that I found. It's probably gonna be a moth or something. I don't know, but I'm gonna check on it every single day. I'll let it go when it hatches. At one point, Jaden was laying on the floor stretching or something over there. And he's like, do you have a jar of dirt? I'm gonna start calling you Jack Sparrow. <laughs> I've got a jar of dirt. Okay. I don't know what to do. Like, I don't want to clean up. And I opened the freezer up because I'm like, I'm hungry. And I saw the boxes open and I'm like, oh, frick, I forgot. I made a hot pocket like 20 minutes ago. Maybe not 20. The bowl's still hot. I don't know how long ago. Doors open. I need to grab a broom. I got dirt everywhere. that seed that I found in the woods I was gonna plant that it's still in there I gotta do that still these are all for my fairy hut stuff um I could take no, I'll leave that put this with my fairy hut here it is so far There's the uh, morel mushrooms I found yesterday. And that's us yesterday making a staining the concrete for uh, the countertop. Yeah. Okay. Food, water. There's a bunch of dirt in my bowl. 